कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे रॉकस्टार के चचा की गान पड़ गई लेडीज एंड जेलो में वी गाना टॉक अबाउट व्हाट जस्ट हैपन इमीडिएटली ओके बिकॉज़ वर हेयर इन दैट रॉकस्टार गेम्स हैव ड्रॉप टीजर फॉर द नेक्स्ट जीटीए 6 ट्रेलर नंबर 2 ये वी गाना एक्चुअली चेक इट आउट व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन विद इट बिकॉज़ सर्कल्स आर नाउ साइको एनालाइजिंग इट एज़ वेल वी गाना सी वी गाना फाइंड आउट whether this is some delulu stuff whether it's legit stuff we're going to get into it thank you all for liking and subscribing let's go for 500 likes on the video shout out to the homie saints fan roll it let's this rockstar just will not stop we have more teases from them or you know supposed teases from them either these are the biggest coincidences of all time or rockstar knows what they're doing and okay. they're just seeing how far they can take this now before we get to the new teases let's do a quick recap i'm going to cover every single november 22nd conspiracy theory that we've already talked about and then we'll get into the new stuff so obviously okay so yeah this moon stuff was bro this moon kind of stuff that's happening in the community it got to go man that's some delulu stuff but okay we got some new stuff that we're going to wait for actually a couple weeks ago rockstar put out this picture of the moon obviously there's some other things going on but the moon is like the big focus point because it's not that big in game so the fact that it's much larger in this shot was pretty interesting Also the fact that last year we had the whole moon the first moon theory regarding it trailer 1 and it turned out that that was all accurate the moon phase lined up with December 1st which lined up with the day Rockstar announced trailer 1 so the fact that okay man like that is some crazy stuff though you know what i mean i mean Rockstar do tease it don't get me wrong even like i believe back in 2021 you remember that Florida house that Sega found in the GT here trilogy the defective edition now it's definitive now they fixed it but back then it was like defective stuff and yeah we had that house and that you know what i'm talking about and at first people thought that was some delulu stuff and sega started sending like you know uh time for your anti delulu pills <laughs> right so we had that moment but now we're finding out that that was actually some real stuff just like last year when they confirmed that we're going to get trailer 1 on december the 5th and they teased it and then it turned out it was legit too so maybe right i don't want to entertain these rumors but it seems like that they're kind of teasing so let's see they were about a year later still waiting for trailer 2 and then we have this moon picture of course that got everything rolling of course people like mm. deeper and the character in that screenshot is leaning the exact same way that jason is leaning in the gta 6 artwork leaning against the car looking to the right a flexed right elbow with the leg positioned the right leg positioned Bruh. forward <laughs> we also had the car itself maybe a teaser <laughs> for an upcoming car in the new gta online update that could be based off of or could be like an early edition of the new banshee from the GTA 6 trailer 1. We got to Bash. see in the top left. So that could be another little GTA 6 connection. Also okay. GTA 6 is trailer 1 song Love is a Long Road by Tom Petty. There's a lyric that says I would wait for the moon. So people latched onto that. As well as the artwork for the album that this song is on by Tom Petty is called Full Moon Fever. You see like there's just there's That's a lot of stuff wild. going on here and That's trust me wild. it gets even crazier. There was also this which is maybe not super related but coincidentally this GTA 5 sale ends on November 21st and the theory with this one is they end that sale and then whenever you know trailer 2 comes out presumably either on the 22nd or maybe a week mm -hmm. later if the 22nd is for an announcement then pre-orders for GTA 6 will go live so offer available until November the 21st and the current rumors that we're going to get it on uh, get the trailer 2 for GTA 6 on November 22 will that happen i say yeah it's probably going to happen if not this year then by 2025 You know, by, by next year it's probably gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. That's the theory with this post. And then obviously the moon phase you can see on November 22nd here. We have a little more than a half moon, but take note of uh, this part down here. You know, this this I guess crater part. How distant it is from the actual line from where obviously the moon goes dark. Back at the moon shot, we kind of have a similar thing, right? Where the moon goes There dark, and then you have that bottom part. So the moon phases are, are lining up, and of course that's where the November 22nd date comes from. But it continues because yesterday Rockstar they just won't let this go. And again, coincidences oh, like if it happens once or twice, it's a coincidence. But if it's yeah, happened yeah, like ten yeah, yeah. times, you start mm -hmm. to think these aren't coincidences. So this particular image, uh, we'll zoom in here to this car at the bottom left, the license plate. Yeah, if we take these plate? numbers from the license plate, we have four, we have five, we also have five. And then we have eight. What does that equal? That equals twenty-two. So yet again, Rockstar throwing more fuel on the fire with this twenty-two <laughs> November date. Now, just because I find this yeah. one a bit funny, I don't think this one has any connection, but it is kind of ironic how it all fits together. In the GTA 6 trailer one, we have obviously this scene here with this uh, this new car, the Cheetah, obviously mm. with the mm. license plate mm. also saying mm. the Cheetah. But the E's are threes. Well, thirty-three. What numbers add up to get thirty-three? We have eleven, and we have twenty-two. Yeah! Which 11 is the month we're in. November 22 is the date. So even more. And then a few days. Yeah, okay, honestly, it it does sound Delulu stuff, but at the same time, it doesn't. If that makes sense. Yo, we mentioned this image Rockstar put up on their newswire, and we talked a little bit about the uh, device and then the number up here. There's actually a new theory regarding this screenshot, and here is that theory. So back in 1986, there was a band called Device, which is coincidentally mm. the exact same year that Vice City, the original game, was 
uh, taken place in. And as you can see, 22B3 is the only album that that particular band ever released. And again, it just Bruh. so happens that the numbers 22 is in that album name. So with that one, we have That's connections crazy, to device We have man. connections to the screenshot, to the, the device name. And then yeah. we also have connections to the 22 date. That is crazy. Yeah, the homie TGG is also psychoanalyzing it. Every, the entire community is like on this one right now. And it seems like that it's not coincidence because Rockstar is doing that crap. Maybe they're trolling, they're effing around. But do you think it's legit? Let me know your thoughts as well in the comments, guys. Check out this video on the screen because we recently had some GTSX gameplay leaks going around. And I'll see you right there.